this is our supply schedule for chocolate and this is our supply curve for chocolate so if i tell you at price of two what's our coin supplied it's four so from the graph at price of two i will go horizontally then intersect with supply curve and then i will go vertically i will get here coin supplied is four this point i will label it as point a and then i will tell you what will happen if the price of chocolate increases from two to three from producer's perspective this means that they have a motive to produce more so they will produce six units Therefore, from the graph, at price of 3, I will move horizontally till I intersect with the supply curve. And then I will go vertically. I will get here quantity supplied of 6. So at this point on the supply curve, I'm going to label it as B. Therefore, when the price changed from 2 to 3, quantity supplied increased from 4 to 6. It means that I moved from point A to point B on the same supply curve. That's why we call it a movement. So what do I mean by a movement? I move from one point to another on the same supply curve. Here, we moved from point A to point B. So when will we have a movement if we have a change in price? So this change in price would result in what? I moved from point A to point B on the same supply curve. I know that each point on a supply curve is called quantity supplied. So this means that here we have a change in quantity supplied. Then let's assume that the government is going to impose taxes on suppliers. Therefore, we will have a new quantity supplied, which will be lower. At price of one, it will be zero units. At price of 2, it will be 2, and then we have 4, 6, 8. Let's draw it. At price of 1, our new coin supply is 0. At price of 2, the new coin supply is 2. Our price, at price of 3, the new coin supply is 4. At price of 4, the new coin supply is 6. At price of 5, the new coin supply is 8. Let's connect all these points together. This will give us new supply curve, which is supply 2. So what happened to our supply curve here? It shifted to the left. Therefore, when will we have a shift? When we have any other factor that it changes except then the price of this good, which we call it non-price factor. Therefore, it means that we will have an entire new supply curve, which means we have a change in supply. Therefore, a movement, it means that we move from one point to another on the same demand curve. This will happen when we change the price and this will change our quantity supplied. But a shift, it means that we have a new curve this will happen if we change any other factor except then the price of this good. That's why we call it non-price factor. And this results in a change in supply.